Lynn McAlpin visits often with staff members and workers at the Sanctuary Hospice House. Late last year, Lynn's 88-year-old father, Guy Gravely, a decorated World War II veteran, suffered a stroke and spent the last days of his life at the West Tupelo facility. She says the care and comfort her dad and family received eased many burdens. He was ready to go be with the Lord, and so he, we, we came out here after his stroke, and he was having a hard time speaking, and um, when we got here, it was just like the most peaceful place. He was at peace, we were at peace. If you have no worries because someone who who knows what they're doing is taking care of your loved one. We were able to just sit and love on him. Since it opened in November of 2005, the Sanctuary Hospice House has provided care for more than 1,600 patients and their families from across North Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Last year, 260 patients were admitted, but 354 had to be turned away because there was not enough space. So an auction will be held to help pay for more beds, a nursing station, parking spaces, and also to enlarge the kitchen. So we have named this project in memory and honor of, of those 354. Families who have been served here have been wonderful and have already made many contributions toward the addition of our eight beds because they, like no one else, realize the importance of having an inpatient hospice bed. Total cost for the project is estimated at $1.2 million. Shane Hooper is a local businessman and board member at the Sanctuary Hospice House and says the quality of care received cannot be measured in dollars and cents. We will rarely find anybody in our community that is not 100% supportive of this house and the efforts that are done here. They have a wonderful staff here. What makes this place so different, I believe, is just because people care so much. Auction 354 takes place this evening here at the Bancor South Arena. All proceeds go to the expansion project. So far, about $700,000 has either been pledged or donated, and organizers are hoping to raise the remaining $500,000 to night so construction can start this fall debt-free. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.